Ahoy. Can I just ask a question? You can cut this, can't you? Yeah, I can cut it. Um, hopefully. Uh, I want it to look like, this is just like a recreation of um, what it used to be like. Coming and sitting in organic restaurants and painting with organic coffee, so yeah. Just get out some of them. Ta -da. So the rings were made obviously from a cup, probably an espresso or something, but uh, anyway. So yeah. So I became, how did I become an artist? I became an artist through going through a lot of mental stuff, specifically in the head, uh, mental health issues, and basically the breakdown of the psyche after being in business and doing what I, de I thought society would deem that I should do, which is get a good body, get a business, make some money, and that really wasn't the most fulfilling what happened after all of that was a real breakdown and yeah I had to find myself and a portion of that was coming to Glastonbury to Avalon to sacred sites to go into organic vegan restaurants and writing I began, began drawing using coffee and yeah there was nothing else there apart from the, there was coffee I had a pencil so yeah I started drawing and painting and I just remember that as a kid I used to draw and paint and I stopped. So this was a real reintroduction into that and being able to come to what was at the time a real community hub um, it really helped. I was able to express myself and meet loads of people and like the people that I know now you know a couple of years on like we have such deep meaningful connections through those interactions. It's a real shame to see that that's ending now and in society, it's trying to pull people further away. So without this place, without a hub, without the opportunity to express myself creatively, without being in any way hindered by the current society, yeah, I really wouldn't be here actually. Like art really saved me, it helped me find peace. Um, community, connection, connection to source, connection even to the coffee and where it came from and all the processes that happened for that to be able to be with me now it's, to be so focused in that moment it really gave me that so some of the things some of my peace uh, really came with animals so I would sit and draw just connect with the spirit of these creatures But for me, it's everything as well. It's not just doing the art. It's not just the painting with coffee, which is eco-friendly and uh, tapping into like raw, uh, untapped source, creative gifts and talents without... I feel like everybody has the freedom and opportunity to tap into those things. And for me, the, the main point was being in the coffee shop being surrounding the, the calm amongst the chaos, that was really powerful for me. And also dealing with the addiction of coffee as well, which is another thing, that's a whole other thing altogether. We can all tune into our gifts. For me, it was the coffee, it was the coffee shop, it was the organic, it was the eco-friendly, it was the spirit, it was the animals, it was all that. For you, it might be something different. Uh, but yeah, 